Dimi, congratulations. I believe you've qualified for the Open. It's been a pretty incredible final round for you. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, yeah, that just tops it off. I was just happy to get in the clubhouse with a good score today and, yeah, just reap the benefits now. Talk to us about that final round. Um, that was awesome. You know, I got a couple of good breaks there through the middle of the round. Um, you know, stayed out of the sev out of the hazard on 10 when I took driver and on 11 I j just cleared the hazard and went up on the green. So that was sort of fortunate, but, um, you know, they've got to go your way sometimes and yeah, it was nice to turn around. And talk to us about the experience of playing with Keegan Bradley. Was it nice to see where your game is at compared to a world-class player like him? Um, yeah, it was awesome. He's a great guy and really good player, obviously. It was, um, yeah, it was a pretty unreal atmosphere out there today with big crowds and playing with him and my good mate Pikey, that was good fun, you know, we had a bit of a laugh out there and sort of calmed the nerves and yeah, it was good. Obviously you've had a, a bit of disappointment recently with the European Tour and the Challenge Tour, but obviously this turns things around and I think it's shot you right up the order of merit as well. Yeah, definitely, um, you know, I just figured like I'll, if I'm good enough I'll get there eventually, so if these, these things can't keep happening... Um, it's been unfortunate what happened a few weeks ago, but just got to you know put that past me and yeah, I figure you know if I'm not here next year or the year after, just keep plugging away and hopefully I'll end up there. And if not, I'll see what happens. It's been some pretty impressive golf played by Abraham out there. Did you ever feel like you might have been able to chase him down today? Um, just for a second there, when I birdied um, the 12th, I thought oh, I I knew 13, 14 were good chances, so. I just missed my birdie on 13 and 14 I took driver because I thought if I can get it right down there I can get it close and I needed to make an eagle just to get something really far enough but I ended up making seven so that didn't really work out too well. <laughs> but um, yeah, not not really to be honest. I never really thought um, most of the day. I just, yeah, I was just happy to have a good score. And um, obviously playing well heading into the final event of the year, the Australian PGA Championship, and it is a European to a co-sanctioned event. A win there would be really huge for your career? Yeah, that would be massive. Um, yeah, that would obviously turn things around a lot, get me going over there for Europe and give me some status over there, but, you know, just try and have a good week, worry about it when it happens. Uh, what do you do next week? You've got the week off. What do you do to prepare? Oh, I've played a, so much golf this year, it's been ridiculous and I'm, I'm also playing uh, the two weeks after Aussie PGA in South Africa, so next week's going to be pretty relaxing, go to the beach, maybe go fishing a couple of times. Yeah. Alright, well we'll let you go and enjoy your celebrations down at the Coogee Bay Hotel. Yeah, definitely, I'll be down there. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, a couple of lemonades tonight for sure. Great, thank you. No